Hi, and thank you for joining us for this week's Crafternoon here at the Coronado Public Library. This week we'll be making clothespin stars. If you weren't able to pick up a kit, all you'll need are some clothespins, glue, and a piece of twine. Let's get started. In your kit, you should have eight large clothespins, eight small clothespins, and a length of twine. You'll also need some sort of glue, either hot glue or regular glue. To begin, you're going to go ahead and disassemble your clothespins. So you're just going to take them apart, put them aside, and discard your metal piece. Once you have all of your metal pieces separated from your clothespins, go ahead and start with your bigger clothespin pieces. What you'll do is just go ahead and grab your first two and you're going to be gluing them together so that that little one little notch, you're going to match those together just like this. So go ahead and with a little bit of glue, glue that first one in place. And you'll go ahead and do that with all of them. You'll end up with eight spikes that'll look like this. Go ahead and set your first eight aside and do the same thing with your little ones. So the same thing, you're going to be matching up those little divots on each one, creating eight tiny. Once you have all of your spikes or spokes all glued, go ahead and set your small ones to the side again, and we're going to start with our first big snowflake. The easiest way to do that is to glue your first two together, and then add your next two, just like that. From there we'll add the next group. Once that's dry, you can go ahead and add your next four pieces, and you're going to add them one, two, three, four. Alright, once you are all good in place, go ahead and set this aside to dry. Next, you're going to do the exact same thing with your little spokes.
once both of your spokes are dry, we're going to go ahead and layer them one on top of the other to create a nice 3D effect on your snowflake. So go ahead and just don't be shy with the glue on this one and glue it in place. And you can either have the spokes overlap or have them kind of over the edges like I've chosen here. Once your spoke is dry, go ahead and take your twine and you're going to flip this upside down. Find a groove right here at the top and tie a nice tighter knot right there. I would go ahead and double knot it. Keep that in place. You can also put a dab of glue too if you're a little concerned. And then take your two loose ends and create a knot to make a nice loop for you to hold your star. And there you are for this week's Crafternoon. We hope you had a wonderful time making this with us and have a wonderful day.